What is happening, Magnesites? I thought Trump hated women. That's what people have been telling me this whole time. Trump hates women. I guess not, huh? All right. Donald Trump has made his first decision, major decision, as president-elect, naming Susie Wiles as his White House chief of staff. In a statement, the president-elect wrote, quote, Susie Wiles had just helped me achieve one of the greatest political victories in American history and was an integral part of both my 2016 and 2020 successful campaigns. Susie is tough, smart, innovative, and is universally admired and respected. It is a well-deserved honor to have Susie as the first ever female chief of staff in United States history. Okay. I have no doubt that she will make our country proud. Susie also served as an advisor to Tudor Dixon's gubernatorial campaign, and Tudor joins us now. Good morning to you. So and he even told us that she's intelligent and respected. Look at that. Oh, Susie Weil is someone who is rarely seen in the media, but she has made- I've never heard this name before, Susie Wiles. So, see if I can find out some more about her. The huge impact when it comes to Republican politics. So tell us a little bit- So it's not huge, it's huge. Get it right. More about her and how she'll serve Donald Trump as White House Chief of Staff. Yeah, well, she's rarely seen because she has no ego. She is an mm, amazing woman. Okay. She is a perfect combination of talent and toughness. She does not let any shenanigans go on around her, but she also <laughs> understands how to take care of her boss. She doesn't try to control. Looks like a tough grandma right there, don't she? <laughs> Had to go and see your grandma. She outside waiting for you like that. Come here. Like, what, what, grandma? What I do? <laughs> him. She was the originator of let Trump be Trump. And that was the mm. most effective strategy she could possibly have. She, yeah. did not, she did not shy away from. One thing that many people don't realize is that what we like about him is that he's really not a politician. He's become a politician, but he doesn't behave like a politician. He's not politically correct. He's just himself. And. I, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, a, I forgot how the saying goes, you guys are going to help me out in the comments, but it's like, you know, it's like dealing with the devil, you know, and the devil, you don't know. It's like, I'm, I'd rather deal with the guy that is just laying it out on the table. Okay. With Kamala, there was always that, uh, that, that, like, I don't really know who she is. I feel like she's putting on an act to get my vote type of thing. So, uh, yeah. So let him be himself. Uh, him being himself is what has made him so popular in the first place before he even started running. He was like, you know, a rich guy that got celebrity because not all the people in the world that are rich have celebrity, but he got it. His casinos and his, you know, playboy life and all that stuff. And uh, I never hated him. He was just like a rich dude that owned casinos in Jersey. That's kind of how I thought of him. You know what I mean? And that's it. You know, I think I bought a couple of his ties when they first came out when I used to sell cars, but yeah. Long form interview. She didn't shy away from the McDonald's uh, experience, the garbage man experience. She so let me see this list here. First woman to be named White House Chief of Staff played a major role in Trump's campaigns, began her career in 1979 with late rep Jack Kemp, and in 1980 with Reagan's presidential campaign, helped Rick Scott and Ron DeSantis win their Goober National, I've never heard of that, Goober National races in Florida. Um, It's governor stuff then. Goober. I don't know. <laughs> God just makes me. <laughs> Goober makes me think of Uber, but at the same time, Goober also makes me think Gerber. But Goober is not Gerber. Um, okay. Uh, rarely seen in the media and described as the ice maiden in Trump's secret weapon. See? What did I. T <laughs> you probably don't want to mess with her. <laughs> The Ice Maiden look. She even got the hair. This is almost supervillain or superhero stuff. Maybe even anti-hero stuff. She got the hair to match the Ice 
maiden name, daughter of Pat Summerall, legendary NFL broadcaster. Okay. I knew that Trump had this innate way of, of meeting people where they are and reaching people, and she embraced that. But she also doesn't let people do anything around him. She, you know, we, hmm. in the first term, we saw a lot of leakers, we saw a lot of shenanigans in the White House. That's not going to happen with Susie Wiles. Because, like I okay. said, she's not only tough, she's talented, and people. She was sitting at his right hand. People respect her. Last night when I his heard right this, hand my woman. phone blew up. People were just overwhelmed with excitement to see this historic pick. They know she's going to be incredible at this job, and she's a winner. Are you concerned in any way about her lack of time in D.C.? Admittedly, she did spend some time in D.C., but it was 1979, 1980, and obviously she's been back. So he's now made um, a woman the first chief, chief of staff in history. A strong, intelligent, respected, but he hates women. Okay. Handling stuff in the political world, but she really is an on the ground operative at this point. So are you concerned that her lack of DC experience will hurt? What a blessing to not have some experience with the people in the swamp trying to bend your ear. She's going to go in there and they're afraid of her. That's the best part about this. <laughs> this is a woman who just ran a she don't play, 500 then. company overnight and she was incredibly successful at it. This is the best case scenario for the United States of America. We don't want someone going in there that has already made deals with people, that ha has loyalties to people. Susie Wiles is going in there for the American people and that's the most exciting news I could ever possibly hear about this the way, the way she looked administration yeah you know the way she looks right there to see yeah you know, hear about this most exciting news right there it made me think she knows somebody like I ain't trying to mess with her <laughs> like you dealing with Trump you think you just thinking about stabbing him in the back or doing something wrong her looking at she knows somebody that's going to take care of you. <laughs> that's the most exciting news I could ever possibly hear about this administration. Yeah, you know, it, it'll, it will be very interesting to see Donald Trump fill out his cabinet and who he selects for these key positions. Uh, in 2016, there were a lot of people who he says did not serve him well. We saw it unfold in, in a pretty dramatic way. But then you have tweets from a Democrat congressman, uh, uh, Jared Moskowitz out of Florida, said, congrats to Susie Wilde. I worked with her in the DeSantis administration she is brilliant tough strategic she will serve our country well that's coming from a democrat so with selections like this does it indicate that there will be less drama when it comes to staffing around donald trump uh, during his next administration Probably. Absolutely. We are all so excited about what's going on in this next next administration. It will it will be the most historic administration in the history of the country. I know that he is bringing together an amazing team. Susie is going to help him with that. Susie, I just have to tell my personal experience with her is that she is always available, always willing to sit down with you, always willing to go through every scenario with you and, and help you play out what is the best thing you can do for yourself and for the people. This is going to be um, the most amazing administration that the country has ever seen because of the combination we of shall Donald see. Trump, Susie Wilde, and J.D. Vance. I cannot, I could not we tell shall you definitely anything see. about this other than you are going to be amazed and overwhelmed wow. by what's going to happen. It's quite an endorsement. I think it also needs to be stated what a rubbing of the salt in the wounds, <clears throat> excuse me, this is to the left. After Mark Cuban said <laughs> Donald Trump does not surround himself with strong and intelligent women, Donald. Yeah, here you are right, brother. And he had already done it. You got what I'm saying? He had already done it, but this is just, yep. I was already doing it. People already showed you that you were wrong. And I, oh, oh, hold his arm. Right in the wound, buddy. <clears throat> Get him out of here. J. Trump appoints the first ever female chief of staff. It and is. somebody that Tudor Dixon is a huge fan of. Tudor, thank you. Thank you, Tudor. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian. And I'm Tyrone Magnus. <laughs> well, folks, let me know what you think. Does Trump still uh, hate women? And um, do you like his pick? 
And of course, give me anything else that you uh, would like to tell me. Uh, by the way, um, I watched uh, for you, for you, all of you that are so gung ho about abortion. Um, I already knew this stuff uh, from different people I had heard speak about it that are respected. Uh, on, but um, I started doing a little bit more research. So, uh, eugenics and planned parenthood. Margaret Sanger, Forgotten History. Watch that video next. Tell me if you're still for abortion. No matter who you are, tell me if you're still for it. And I'm, I'm not talking about the exceptions. If you're for it for the exceptions, okay. I'm talking about the rest. All right. Let's get it. Post comments down below. Let me know what you all think. If you enjoyed my reaction and thoughts, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share. 10 million subscribers. Woo!